When everybody turns their back on you because you decided to trust God, what do you do? Do you wallow in loneliness? Uh, do you do you do you throw your own pity parties and um, do you do you forget about do you forget about what was finished at the cross when your wife or your husband uh, ain't acting right? What do you do uh, when your child, with all that you seem to have imparted within them, they still go astray? What do you do when the contract on your job runs out and now you are crying and murmuring and, and complaining, God, I, I, I need a job and I ain't got this and I ain't got that and I can't afford this? What do you do? And those things sometimes disturb us. Ah, uh, you can be honest. I ain't the only one that's ever been disturbed by something that's happened in our life. You can be honest because those things disturb us because we really have not grasped what was finished at the cross. I came to let somebody in here know this morning, when you really grasp what was finished at the cross, it don't matter come hell or high water in your life, you can tell the enemy, I'm standing on the promise that God has finished in my life, that he said he will never leave me nor forsake me, so it don't matter how it looks, how dark it seems, I'm walking in the authority and the power of the finished work in my life that Jesus It's going to make it all right. I heard Brother Gerald say it's already all right. You see, a lot of times we get, we, we, we really haven't came to understand the power of life and death lies within your tongue. So in other words, what you speak over your own life is what's going to come to fruition. Can I help somebody in this place? Don't sit around saying I can't make it. Say I ain't made it yet. But I know in the end God said I'm taking you through. It ain't time for complaining. It, 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 it ain't time for murmuring. It, 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 it's not time to be disturbed. It's not time uh, to let the enemy blow your mind up with things that he sends your way. Because look at what Christ did at the cross. He showed you. Even when he was dying and Satan tempted him once again, he said nothing. But he forgot about the pain that was going on and saved somebody else's life. How do you expect to save somebody else's life when you worried about what's going on in your own life? But let's look at what was finished at the cross. Uh, it said, uh, the gospel of Golgotha declared, curse is broken. Sin of Adam brought about curse. Uh, what is a curse? Ah, uh, guilt is a curse. Shame is a curse. Yeah, I know you can't say amen for, for, because, because a lot of times when we do the things that we do, we will wallow in guilt and shame, which makes us feel worthless. 
Uh, hey, 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 you you can be honest with me. I've been there before to where the things that I've done in my life made me feel like I wouldn't fit uh, to preach this gospel. But I came to understand that the finished work of the cross done away with my guilt and shame. Now I stand on the premise and the promise that whatever God has started in my life, he will finish. Some Bible read of life that I may have it more abundantly. He said, Be fruitful and prosper. I don't know who this is for right here, but you need to lay hands on your own self and tell yourself because of the power and the authority of the Christ, I shall never be broke another day in my life. God, I will never give in. I won't give out. I'm going to press for the mark of the prize of the high calling. A closed mouth. Curse. Huh? Dead folk mouth is closed. But we serve what? A risen Savior. Huh? And not only is he alive, but he's well. That's why you shouldn't have a problem when they ask you to bless the name of the Lord because the one thing you better realize is he's been good. Not only has he been good, but he's been kind. Not only has he been kind, but the stuff that should have took you out, he didn't allow it to take you out. That's why you all not have a problem with giving him a praise every time you get a chance. I know this is Holy Week, but let me tell you something, baby. I ain't just going to give him praise on Holy Week. Every morning I get up, this shall be the day that the Lord has made. Let us. Not only was the curse 